Hey, what's going on? This is Nori, the host of Gladion 2's uh, YouTube channel. Uh, have you ever wondered, man, my brake light stays on all the time. I don't know what's the problem. Well, today's episode, I'm going to show you how to test to find out what the issue is by checking your rear and your front brake pressure switches to see which one of them are inoperable. Hey, what's going on? Welcome back, welcome back. So recently, I just had an issue. As you can tell, Ruby is torn down, okay? Reason being is, you know, I just came back from a, a good good ride and uh, out to that covered bridge, Campbell's Covered Bridge. And if you haven't watched that, uh, that video yet, I'll pop up a card somewhere up here. Uh, for you to go back to and, and look at that uh, that video, but uh, I noticed that my brake lights stood on the entire time. So now, gotta go to the lab, gotta find out what the issue is. All right. So usually, your first step when you find out that your rear bright your rear brake light stays on, what you want to check first okay is your rear brake pressure switch and i'm going to show you where that's at in a minute now this is for harley specific uh i don't know where they're at on other uh brand models but uh if you own a harley and if you come across this before then this might help you or it might help you in the future all right all right, so just to show you really quick, here we go. I'm going to try to zoom up in here to show you the rear brake pressure switch, right? The sensor. So if you notice on the right side of the motorcycle near your transmission side cover, all right, this is the transmission side cover right here. Don't mind the dirtiness, right? You'll look directly below that and behind it, you'll notice this right here this piece is the pressure switch all right for the rear brake it has two leads going into it right in here so um this what this does of course not only this is the brake fluid line but when you apply your rear brake this sensor sends a signal all right to your rear lights to flash also for the turns that that all all of it is combined right so if this is inoperable you would find that your brake lights will stay on this is this is the the first step to to finding out uh what the issue is and the reason i say is the first step is because it is the easiest to diagnose okay the very easiest to diagnose now what you want to do is you're going to remove both of these leads off of the pressure switch, okay? And with a circuit tester, all right, I have a circuit tester here that I bought from Harbor Freight. So with a circuit tester, what you want to do, all right, the, the opposite end of the circuit tester, you're going to connect to your negative battery terminal. And then let me show you that process as I go, go along. All right, like I said, we're gonna test out the leads uh, to make sure there's nothing wrong with your wires. All right, and I have a circuit tester here, like I just stated. Uh, you're gonna connect this to your negative battery terminal, okay? All right, and then what you wanna do is also uh, turn the ignition to either on or accessory okay and then just take the circuit tester and input it into your leads now one's going to be hot one's going to be not all right no light on the first one second one we have light 
Can you all see that? All right, see that we have a light on the second one, the first one, no light, which tells me that uh, the wires are good to go, okay? There, there, there's no kinks or no breaks within that line. So your next step would be to test the actual pressure switch itself, okay? And how you do that is you'll take an ohm meter, let me disconnect here, And how you do that is that you'll take an ohm meter, all right, and connect it to your pressure switch. You have the positive, you have the negative, you uh, connect it to your two sides of the pressure switch. If it reads zero, then your pressure, you, that, that's where your problem lies, is in your rear pressure switch, okay? Um, and the way to fix that of course, you can go ahead and buy a part at the Harley store or just have Harley do it uh, themselves. But if you want to save yourself some money, the proper steps to changing that out is, of course, step one, buy another rear pressure switch. Step two, all right, you would have to go ahead and unscrew your pressure switch from here, okay? And then put in the new one. But when, when you do this, what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to bleed your rear brakes. All right? Because the minute you open this and take out the bad one, you're letting air into that line. All right? So when you plug in the new one, go ahead and bleed your brakes. All right? You can get a, a brake bleeder from Harbor Freight. Probably about 25 bucks, give or take, depending on which kind you get. And you go ahead and bleed your brakes. That's something totally different. I'm not going to do that right now because I know that my pressure switch is good. I, I went ahead and tested the, the line, and I've already put my own meter onto the pressure switch, and the pressure switch is actually working fine. So if that's the case, then your next step is to move to the front, your front brake, and where you know where your throttle is at, and check that switch. If you recently removed your levers, put some new ones on, or what have you, you might have put it in the, the wrong position, which caused the switch to either break or is not making contact with your lever. I'm going to go ahead and show you that process now. This is your, your brake. Now, if you notice, you know, you have um, this little spot right here. Okay. That spot right there. When you, that's where your pressure switch is activated or deactivated. So when you pull in your brake, it's deactivating your the pressure switch which turns on your brake lights when you let it go it's reactivating or putting pressure on that switch which sends a signal to shut off your brake lights okay and another way to test for that all right i've already did the test for the rear nothing happened another way to test is i'm gonna show you as you can see I'm going to tap on my back, my rear brakes. You see no lights coming on and off, right? So I'm going to put my finger in here and manually press on that switch. And you're going to see the brakes go off. And then when I let go, come on. Okay? Also, if you listen closely, what you're going to hear is that relay clicking on and off. I'm going to try to stay quiet so you can, so you can hopefully hear it. Okay, I don't know if you heard that, but you hear it. So that's where you can tell. So if it's coming on and off, all right, if you recently changed your levers or messed with your switch housing here at all, then it's a good chance that you did not put that uh, lever back in place correctly or had all of your housings 
nice and tight so that way the contact is made with your lever. Uh, that's, that's number one, and that's best case scenario um, for you all. All right, worst case scenario, if you did change it and you didn't put it in correctly, whether you put it in straight forward, sideways, or just tried to slam it in there so they could get in place, you could have uh, broken your pressure switch. Now, unless you're a real good solder, at that point, I recommend taking it to a repair shop, whether it's your local independent repair shop or a dealership and having them replace that switch because you will in turn have to undo your entire switch housing. Uh, get a new, first of all, get a new, new pressure switch, undo your entire switch housing, and then clip off the old one and then re-solder a new switch in there, all right? So that way it could properly work. All right, now that I showed you that, now we're gonna go ahead and put it back together um, so that way it can start working. I found that culprit, I, so th that's exactly the steps I took. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this back together. All right, once you have the front lever all put back together, ensuring that you do not shear off that pressure switch, uh, make sure that everything's nice and tight, tighten all your screws down, and this is what you should get. Uh, look at my garage door wall here. This is what you should get when you impress the front brake uh, lever. Can you see, can you all see the light? It goes back out. All right, as always, uh, if you like this content, please like, comment, share, and then subscribe if you want more content just like this. And then until then, enjoy your ride.